and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, June 5th, 2018. Read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you had a great weekend. It looks as though we're going to get a bit of a flat start to the day. I'm filming this at about 9 a.m. and the futures look to be about even, so we'll see what the day brings. But with that, let's get into today's video. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index, which I use as my proxy for the markets overall. I think of the Russell as being the most interest rate sensitive of the indexes, and I want to keep my processes simple. So as long as the Russell's moving higher, I'm adding new names to my watch list. When it's moving lower, I'm being cautious and defensive. And so we're looking at the IWM, which is the ETF for the Russell 2000, and we're stepping back to take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. Bear chart with only my um, eight-day EMA on the chart. You can see the candle for the month of May was overall bullish. Didn't have a lot of volume to it, though. I think that's worth noting. When you compare it to this candle here, where the volume started to increase and it pushed price out of this consolidation range and into the current uptrend. So we've had a similar kind of consolidation here. We had the bullish candle for the month of May, but we didn't have the same kind of volume. So I'm paying attention to that. We'll see how things go from here. But overall, bullish candle for the month of May, and here we are so far for the month of June. So I am going to put my drawings back on and here we go. So I'm ignoring these lines pretty much for now. This is long-term support, resistance, medium, short-term, and I'm really paying attention to this black diagonal line. Why? Because this black diagonal line held price in on the Russell through all of 2017, and then it had this little lift up and out in the latter part of the year. Stayed up there until February of this year where it bled below. February, March, April could not close above my diagonal line, but May did, so we're good. So now I'm going to uh, zoom it into this area here. So I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly. And same black diagonal line. As you can see, price is up and over the eight-day EMA on both the weekly and the daily charts. So here we are here. I'm going to move it from the weekly to the daily and it's been kind of consolidating. We'll see if it can go higher from here. Today might be a little bit of an important one. Will it come back into this consolidation zone? We'll see. But with price on the Russell uh, still showing that price strength and up and over the eight-day EMA on both the daily and weekly charts, I'm going to feature a chart this morning. And the chart that I wanted to feature for you this morning, or I should say re-feature, is VALE, ticker symbol V-A-L-E, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. It's an old Chart of the Day Cafe pick. But before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. They are a huge Brazilian global miner, um, primarily iron ore, copper, a little bit of thermal coal, potash, that sort of thing. Big global player. You know me at Chart of the Day Cafe, I am all about the scores underneath my charts and Vail has a, a very nice high value score along with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 26%, a current PE of 11.62 and it pays a small dividend of 1. I think it's 99%, yeah, 1.99%. So with that, let's go back to the chart. We're looking at the two-year weekly chart. As you can see, it's in an uptrend on the two-year weekly. I first featured Vale as my Chart of the Day Cafe pick here in May of 2017. It took a few weeks for it to take off, but when it did, all that value and those scores really benefited the stock. It's risen sharply since then. I talked about it here again, little green circle, talked about it here, talked about it here, and I'm going to talk about it again here. As long as the market keeps going higher with these scores, the sector that it's in, I think Vail will continue to move higher. We will see. It's all about the markets overall. So that's the big picture look. 
Um, what I'm going to do is put a little area of support in where I see it sitting here now. Oops, there we go. So let's move into this area of the chart. The overall two-year chart shows an uptrend and sitting at an area of possible support. I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly to the six-month daily. Those green circles are where I talked about fail in the past. Uh, the blue line on the chart, for those of you that are new to my videos, is the eight-day EMA. It's pretty much the only indicator I like to see on my charts. And for me, I want to see price on my watch list pick up and over that eight-day EMA. Um, so as you can see, Vail, the volume starting to come in. It's lifting off of this area of support. I'm in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go to the three month because I want to show you the method that I use. So I want to see the three EMA cross the, the eight. So the three is pink. The 8 is blue. I want to see the 3 cross over the 8, lifting off of support and continuing that uptrend. So we don't have it quite yet, but it's oh so close. So should this be a good day, and a good day for Vail in particular, then I would expect to get that 3 uh, minute cross. So as I often do, I'm just going to put a little green circle there and say a rise up into this area and the 3 minute cross would be a trigger for me. Along with my new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in, and for that we're looking at IYM, which is the ETF for the basic materials sector. Two-year weekly chart, you can see it's in an uptrend on the two-year weekly, been consolidating for a while. It's up and over this area of support and may want to lift from here, we will see. I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly to the six-month daily. There's our line of support. It's currently looking as though it wants to lift with price up and over that eight day EMA. We'll see if it can go further. Always good to see. I also like to take a look at seasonality and for that I go over to equityclock.com. Really amazing site, can't say enough about it. So we're looking at the seasonal chart for Vail and as you can see, it starts to come into seasonal favor in the month of June and continues with that seasonal favor really through the balance of the year. No guarantee that happens again this year, but always good to know. And the third thing I like to do is spin over to finviz.com to see if I've got analyst support for my new watch list pick. As you can see, Vail's had a number of downgrades recently, upgrades last year. So you want to be aware of that. For me, the price on the chart and the chart construction prevails, but always good to know. I'm also going to uh, include this um, article, Options Traders Expect a Huge Move in Vail. It's a Zach's article and it implies that um, there might be a big move coming in Vail Corporation. I'll uh, include the article with today's video. I can get that into my screenshot. It was dated May 30th, might be worth taking a look at. And so to quickly recap, let's go back and check the boxes. I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index and we note that overall the Russell is continuing to show that price strength with price currently up and over the 8-day EMA, which is the blue line, on both the daily and weekly charts. We looked at the sector that Vail is in, the Basic Materials ETF, IYM, and we note that it's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and at an area of support. We looked at the chart for Vail. It's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and again at an area of support and possible price strength continuation. Emphasis on possible, it's all about what the markets overall want to do. It's got a great value score and a great growth score. These two are highlighted because they're absolute musts for me. It's got a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 26%. It's got a current dividend yield of 1.99%. It does not have that 3 and 8 EMA cross as we looked at on the chart, but it is oh so close. It's got seasonality in its favor and analyst support. I'm going to let you check that box yourself if you'd like to. It's had a couple of downgrades as we noted, uh, but it's had some uh, prior upgrades, so it's kind of a draw at the moment. It's got a current PE of 11.62 and it looks like their next earnings date will be July 26th. Thank you for watching today's video. As a reminder, these videos go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Hope you have a great next couple of days and we'll see you Thursday.